Hey you guys, it is your girl Eternal Femme and I'm back with another reading for the sign of Aquarius, Summer Rising, Venus, North Node, or any of the heavy placements in chart. Please be sure to like this video for resonate, comment down below if you felt the vibe or subscribe. And if you're reading or resonate today, maybe next time. Welcome back to the channel you guys and welcome to those of you who are new. Let's see what spirit has for you. Message is Holy Spirit for the sign of Aquarius. Two of Swords in reverse. Nine of Wands. The Sun, the Queen of Cups, the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys have made a really hard decision to take action on the situation or move forward when it comes to something here that you feel like will be the solution for it, it looks like the problems that you may have had in the past. Um, you're really putting yourself first at this time. So whatever this decision you've made, you've made it for yourself. Um, it was really hard for you to make, but you made it. Um, and it's been making you happy. You're happy with this decision. You feel loved. You feel like you are really taking the time to nurture and treat yourself. You may have cut back from, I'm also hearing spending. So some of you guys could have cut back from spending or you've also been able to spend more money on yourself. So maybe in the past you spent a lot of money or unnecessary money on things, people that didn't really serve you. Now you're able to spend more money on like quality time, taking care of yourself, really nurturing yourself. Some of you guys could have been really big givers in the past um, and you're not doing that anymore. Now you have more time to nurture yourself and really put yourself first because you could have put everybody first in the past and now you're on this journey of putting yourself first. Um, some of y'all definitely slow down some sort of drinking or partying um or celebrating i don't know if you guys used to go out a lot i feel like that has slowed down um yeah a lot of you guys probably are spending a lot more time in solitude or just you know really spending a lot of time with yourself yes yeah, some of you guys are really putting a lot into yourself at this time um if you are going out or anything like that i feel like you may be either going out alone or, you know, you don't go out as much, but when you do, you have a good time. Um, and you don't have to really worry. You may also be surrounding yourself around people who can, you know, pay their half of the bill. Yeah, some of y'all, I'm definitely getting, you could have, you know, been around people in the past who you always had to cover them, always had to lend out money and stuff like that. And you always had to um, put yourself on the back burner um, to help people. Yeah, eight of coins here reverse. And some of you guys, it could have really stunted your growth or really had an effect on you really elevating or really going to the next phase of your life because you never really had enough or you always had to dish out what you did have. Maybe you guys had a lot of siblings. Maybe you guys had a lot of people who were just in need around you. Maybe you guys had a lot of kids who you had to take care of and now you your kids is grown. You out living your best life, doing your Bitcoin. And um, now you have the time to... Uh, Really show out for yourself. I'm definitely getting self energy here. Yeah, you guys are going on adventures. You could be in your car a lot more, um, driving to places a lot more, booking hotels, treating yourself, spas, traveling. You could be going on solo trips and stuff like that. You know, I feel like a lot of this is by yourself, but some of y'all, you may have like one or two people that you vibe with that you could be doing all this with, but others of you guys, you're by yourself. Like you used to probably call people and go on like uh, lunch dates. Now you're going on lunch dates by yourself. So some of you guys are really valuing alone time um, and understanding that you don't need a bunch of friends to go out and have a good time. You can still have a good time, even if it's just you you and your kids or just you and your alone self. Um, and it's it looks like with the sun card is making you guys happy. Um, like I said, you don't really have to be responsible or held responsible for too many people. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands here. I definitely feel like you guys are really taking back power, control over your life. 
Um, you're really taking action on a lot of things. You're really doing the things that you used to dream about, used to talk about. You're really in this place of life where you're just like, I'm going to just do it. I'm going to take action. I'm going to stop overthinking it. I'm just going to take back charge. Um, others of you guys, you definitely got somebody looking at you, though. You definitely got somebody looking at you who could be flirting or wants some of your attention. Um, but I definitely feel like a lot of you guys here may feel guilty about leaving this person behind because I kind of feel like somebody still wants to take some sort of action on you but you could be like right now I'm loving myself um I'm really nurturing myself and somebody wants you to come back they may even want to travel towards you somebody wants to see you like real bad but I'm getting you don't want to see them or you're not giving them your location or you out you know you out here you living your life you're focused on yourself yeah king of swords you could be really disciplined or you guys are just like not really focused on this person definitely somebody who want to pull up on you but they're making a lot of assumptions about why you don't want to let them pull up or why you don't want to see them they may think you're entertaining other people seeing other people but in reality y'all just loving on yourself so somebody keeps feeling wondering why you're avoiding allowing them to come close to you or come visit you or come to your house maybe you stop letting somebody come over they're like why you cut me off from coming over but i feel like a lot of you guys just don't want to be bothered it looks like it looks like you just want to be in your own energy and it's working for you because it looks like it's bringing a lot of happiness, a lot of positivity. A lot of you guys are a lot more positive. Maybe in the past you complained about, uh, you complained a lot about people using you or not taking you seriously or taking you for granted. And now you're like, okay, well, I complain when I could just change my life because you are in control of the things that you allow people to do to you um, by setting boundaries and just making those things clear. And I feel like that's what's happening here. You guys are realizing that you're a lot more happier. You're a lot more positive when you um, focus on putting yourself first and not really, you know, going along just to get along is what I'm getting. Some of you guys did that a lot in the past. You just went along to get along. You could have did that in the past with somebody too as well, where this person is realizing that this version of you that you're in now is who you really are and what you were doing when you were with them was kind of like just trying to give them or satisfy them in some sort of way. And now that you're satisfying yourself, somebody feels like you're a little distant towards them, like they can't come towards you or like you won't let them in your space. And for a lot of you guys, it is that way. And I feel like you have it set up that way because you're just learning to value yourself a lot more. And you feel like anybody who comes in your life should hold you at that same accord. Period. Because mm -hmm. I feel like with the nine of coins here in reverse, there's a lot of codependency. A lot of people from your past was codependent on your energy, on your life, your life force. You know what I'm saying? And for a lot of you guys with that nine of coins here in reverse, it's kind of like that's what I'm getting. Where it's like in the past, I just keep getting that. Some of y'all, this could have happened recently where you just recently decided that, nope, I'm going to put me first. I'm not going to really care about everything else or everything else people got going on. I'm not going to let people attach themselves to my happiness or I'm not going to attach my happiness by how other people treat me because that could have been what the issue was as well. It could have been vice versa. It could have been the fact that like if somebody made you upset, made you sad, like I said, that could have affected your emotions, your happiness. You weren't happy um, unless everybody else was happy. And when they weren't happy, you were sad. And that's just where you're like, okay, now I have to disassociate myself from that because my emotions shouldn't be based off of how other people treat me or how um what's going on in everybody else's day-to-day -day life or my emotions should not be you know if somebody else is mad i shouldn't be mad just because they're mad when in reality you are the sun you're somebody who likes to smile you probably laugh a lot you're probably a jokester probably very funny um you usually like to see the positive things um of life and you could have been in a very pessimistic energy in the past just because of how people treated you or some of y'all, you were just taking on other people's energy, dealing with other people's problems. And now you're realizing that these are not my problems. And the problems that you did have, you're dealing with them by just not allowing people to take advantage of you or really play, play in your face, to be honest. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, you, you went through a major transformation. But I feel like it was for the better. And I feel like you may have some people around you who feel like, you know, they can't really get close to you because I feel like you have it set up that way. Yeah, five of coins, people feel like you kind of just left them out. But I feel like, yeah, people only feel that way because sometimes people don't realize how much they drain people's energy. And they don't realize that because they're so codependent and used to it. And codependency dra it's a, it's a draining. When you have a codependency issue, that is draining. Okay? So if you're dealing with somebody from your past who is like trying to figure out why 
you act in this way and some of y'all you probably maybe communicated this but they can't see that they don't see that they see themselves as somebody here who really is just attracted to you or really care about you or this could even been sexual as well somebody kept trying to sleep with you multiple times or that's all they talked about was sleeping with you like very attracted to you and you could have been like dude like that could have been all it was about as well you know intercourse like just sleeping with you or whatever the case is like somebody like dang you fine you sexy i want to be with you i want to get with you but like that's all you want like it's just a lot yeah i just kind of feel like somebody just keep trying to get get on get on you get on you and it's like come on man get like no so some of you guys are like uh-uh is, is that all you're about or something like that? Yeah, I feel like nine of wands. I feel like some of y'all, people are still stuck in these patterns and you guys are like, I can't keep putting myself back in these same situations here. So yeah, you're really on something new. I feel like you may even be looking, you may even change your type in men or in women. You're like, I don't really date that type of person or I don't really see myself being with somebody like that. You know, I feel like you're just being very cautious about who you let in your energy at this time because definitely the people from the past may feel some type of way because they feel like, you know, you're, you're um, switching up. But let's see. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Yeah, they yeah, people feel like you just cutting cutting people out your life. Really being very some like I said, I feel like you're being direct too. Like you're being direct with people. Like yeah, uh, I'm gonna go over here. Or people may ask you like, what are you doing? Or can I like maybe people are coming off sexual and you're like, bro, like get it together. Like I don't care about your sex. Or there's something here where I feel like people. I feel like people are saying the wrong things to you. And it's just making you love yourself even more. Some of y'all, something is bringing you awareness to what you really did allow in the past and why people felt so comfortable to approach you in the past. So yeah, I feel like you're definitely coming through, coming to some sort of realization of your own life patterns and the, own, the things that you may have done in the past that kind of attract the energy that was in your life. Some of y'all, it was that going along to get along energy, just, you know, trying to keep the peace and trying to keep everybody afloat and keep everybody happy and trying not to rub people the wrong way and now it's kind of like nah because people took advantage of you and a lot of people could have played in your face and a lot of people could have like you know only really fucked with you when you told them what they wanted to hear and now you guys are standing in your truth now you're speaking up now you're being straightforward about your intentions and then you have people who are intimidated they're afraid they're cowarding and the reason why they're cowarding is because they're not used to this side of you they're used to the side of you who always bite your tongue now you're not biting your tongue anymore so somebody here is kind of like well well what did i do to you I and mean, some people may feel like it's an attack like you're attacking them that's not the case they're just not used to aquarius being who aquarius truly is and I feel like now, now that's that 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 may be a trigger for some people. Um, yeah, <laughs> eight of swords. It may be a trigger for people because they feel like with this eight of swords, like you kind of leave a mark on them to where like they can't stop thinking about it or thinking about you or what you said. The words that come out of your mouth really hit people to the point that like they just ruminate on it. They can't stop thinking about it. And some people may even with the four of swords in reverse, some people may even hold grudges because they don't see the bigger picture. They think that what you're doing is like an insult or all of a sudden like you have some sort of issue with them when in reality, these are things that you may have always felt but you never said, or you did say them, but unless I feel like, yeah, thank you Holy Spirit. It's like I did in that reading a while back where I was talking about how some people you could say hey i'm looking for a relationship i'm looking for a commitment those are the things that i want and they'll still be like huh and then when you cuss them the hell out like you're not going to sleep with me that's not what it's going to be you need to chill out it's just not going to be like that they don't understand it's like kids like they don't understand you when you like can you please go sit down unless you raising your voice or something not all kids but some of them you be like I literally told you a few times and you're not getting it until you raise your voice. Then all of a sudden they're like, what? 
So this is that energy. It's kind of like a somebody here. It's like you could have been saying this to them. Like, yeah, this is what it is. Or this could have been with other people. Like, hey, you're going to have to, you know, pitch in. Or you're going to have to reciprocate. Or, you know, you can't just call me last minute and ask me for a ride. Like, I feel you could have been telling people this. But, like, they get mad when you just cut them off. And they're like, why you cut me off? Because I've been telling you what the issue was. You just thought I never cut you off. And that's what this is. You got people who feel like, you know, they can't stop thinking about what you said or what you did, or they're kind of like stuck in their head about it. And they kind of feel like you should feel some type, like you should um, be branded, whatever the case is, because of the fact that they feel like, you know, what you did was so harsh or so cold. And they only call you cold because you did it so abrupt because they didn't expect it. How you didn't expect something that you was pre pre warned? It's getting it's giving that vibe. That's why I feel like in the past you try you probably went along to get along, um, <clears throat> just so you didn't hurt people's feelings. But now you're like I don't care if I hurt your feelings because it's the truth. A lot of people don't want to hear the truth, and and that could be what this is. A lot of you guys are not no longer biting your tongue. I don't see you being in a very harsh way. The Queen of Swords is upright, which makes it feel like you're being direct. And that's what people can't handle. They can't handle you looking them in their eyes and telling them directly how you feel or what's going on or what you can see what's going on. That's what this is. Some of y'all, you could have dealt with friends, family members, whatever the case is, who's very passive aggressive. And so every time you say something direct to them, like, is, do we have a problem? Because every time I walk past you, you saying something under your breath. Do we have a problem? Because we should be able to resolve it as adults. And if we can't, we don't have to be around each other because I can't deal with the fakeness. So I feel like that could be what this energy is. It's like uh, people are upset because they're so used to you just kind of like sweeping shit under the rug and you're not doing that no more. You're like, we either fuck with each other or we can't. We either going to talk this out or we're not going to talk at all. What, what you want to do? And I feel like that's what a lot of issues is with people is people don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear um, They don't want to hear your truth. They don't want to hear you speak up because they know it's the truth. Because they know because you are somebody who usually sit back and observe and just go along to be alone. They probably know that you do know the truth, but you just don't say it. And a lot of people may feel like in some sort of way you're intimidated because a lot of people feel like if you're quiet or you don't say nothing, you're scared to say it. And some of y'all, you may have been in the past, but others of you guys, you wasn't scared. You just didn't want to hurt nobody's feelings or every time you said something, people felt some type of way about it. So that could be, even if it wasn't about their situation, I'm just getting that every time you spoke up, even about your own feelings, even about the things that made you feel some type of way, or even about the things that you just were experiencing in your own situation, or even if you wanted to express to somebody how their behavior or something may be an effect on you. I feel like a lot of times when you spoke up about things, people took it personal. People got upset. People got mad. So some of y'all, your reactions to that is like, I'm just not going to say nothing at all. But at the same time, if you walking around here on the eggshells around people because they so sensitive to everything you say out your mouth, then I don't know what to tell y'all because the truth is the truth. I'm not about to sit here and block my throat chakra because people are afraid of me speaking the truth. It is what it is. You just going to be mad. We don't got to be around each other because I don't. And like I said, it's the queen of swords up right. It's not like you cussing them out. It's like you're being very direct about the situation and people who lack communication skills. What do they do? They get mad and they start four swords in reverse, holding grudges and shit like, oh, I can't forgive you. I don't agree. Whatever. We can agree to disagree. That's fine. But you can't sit here and walk around and be mad at me because I have an opinion, period. Yeah, we got the six of coins. And some of y'all, it's over helping people, lending money, giving out, giving back. Y'all could have dealt with a lot of people who had their hand out. Can I have this? Can you help me? Can you give me a ride? Even though it's two hours before you got to clock in. Like, it's giving a vibe where it's like you could be dealing with people where, yes, now, now that I speak, somebody is definitely over rides or something like that. Now that I'm speaking about a situation here, it's kind of like a, um, there could have been codependency, like I said, on people having a handout. Maybe people wanted to stay with you, live with you. Maybe you were taking care of somebody and they just didn't, they just took you for granted. People just expected you to be there. People just expected you to help. People just had to hand out. And some of y'all, you got tired of that. You're like, why are you relying on me? Some of y'all, you have people who could have been spending their whole checkup. And then when their money gone, they call you on your payday asking you for money. You're like, what happened to your check? You know, so I feel like a lot of you guys, that could just be what the situation is. You could have dealt with a lot of people who know you were going to give, know you would help with no problem. And they took advantage of that. They will make sure that they spend what they spend and then come to you when they're out dry, whatever cases, and ask for money. 
Some of y'all could be a situation where you had somebody who was in the club partying every night. Then the moment that them bills was due, they get put out. Now they want to come sleep on your couch every year. And it's like, oh, no, that could be what this is. I feel like a lot of you guys could have dealt with a lot of people who were codependent on your bank account, your help, your assistance. You could even have people who called you and try to get you to fill out applications for them. You know how they be having those videos on Facebook talking about how they man asking them to uh, book their doctor's appointments. Now be for real. Just because you a wife don't not mean you an assistant, okay? All right? And husband, whoever it is for, okay? You're not somebody's mama. Get them to fill out them doctor's appointments themselves or them applications. I had an ex one time who um, was in college trying to get me to do all his classes. Be for real. That's what this is, okay? <clears throat> it's like you can have a lot of people who like are like, not even trying to do the work. Y'all got a lot of people who see that you may have resources with the six of coins. And because you have those resources, they feel like you're supposed to do it for them. No, you, I could lead you to the water, but I'm damn sure not going to make you drink. I could show you where the applications are, but I'm not going to fill out nothing for you. You get what I'm saying? You've had a lot of people who could have been lazy or did not want to do the work. And they wanted to rely on you because you had it done. You had a lot of people who felt like, because like, you know, they always got that rich auntie or that person in the family who got that bag. And they feel like, oh, okay. So every time we go through something, we can just rely on them. Even though we're throwing our life away, not really making any positive uh, changes or not really doing anything real with our life or, or throwing our lives away or doing whatever the case is. They could just be fucking off, whatever the case is. And then they feel like, oh, okay, because we got that rich auntie in the family, every time we go through something, they'll help us out. No, you cannot do that. Every time somebody falls short in their rent, oh, yeah, Aquarius got us. You cannot do that to a person. You don't know what a person got going on, how much weight or loads they got on their life. Some of y'all got children, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you want me to take out of my kids' mouth to feed you and your kids, okay? So you just got to be mindful, you know? You just got to be mindful. A lot of you guys, you are moving past that energy. You're focusing more on yourself. I just feel like a lot of people may hold grudges because you're being very direct with your communication here. Yes, three of swords. Three of swords because what that what happens, it ends up backfiring in your face. You end up being hurt and betrayed because you start thinking that people are close to you because they love you, they care about you. And the whole time, they're just trying to figure out how to ask you for some money. I'm so serious. I don't know who I'm picking up on today, but I feel like there's people who keep trying to come back around you or come back in your life just to ask you again. Like I said, it's like, it's like you talk to them, you tell them, hey, you know, I cannot help you all the time. You know, this is really affecting me in some sort of way. And you saying it like that, it seems like they don't get it because they may call you two weeks later and they think if they put a week between it, I'm speaking to somebody today. They put a week in between it or something like that. And they'd be like, okay, so can I have some money again? And you just be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> did you not hear what I said? It's like that with kids. I swear you tell a kid, no. They will come back two hours later like, so yeah, can I? Even like, I know you heard me the first time. And that's what I'm getting for somebody here. It's like, it's like that, what a thank you, Holy Spirit. It's like when you uh, get on the phone with somebody and um, they get to tell me, yeah, so how you doing today? You be like, I'm doing fine. I'm doing good today. You know what I'm saying? They be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, I saw the news and they da 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 da. You're like, yeah, I saw that too. That was crazy. Yeah. I just wanted to know if you had $20. <laughs> <laughs> you be like, so you had this whole fake conversation with me just asked for $20. Like, stop. This is crazy. Like, that's what I feel like this is, y'all. I feel like. If I feel like this, if I'm going to ask you for something, I'm just going to flat out ask. I'm not about to be like, so yeah, how'd you eat last night? What you eat? Like, like I'm not about to do all that. I'm about to be like, you got $10. Like, be for real. I just feel like you got people around you who faking, like, and then they acting delusional like they don't know why you cut them off. And then they get mad when they like, why you cut us off? So yeah, some of you guys, you may end up feeling uh, hurt about the fact that some people only are coming back around just to do exactly what they said they wasn't doing before. So you may have people who are in denial. They may try to say like, that's not what I was on. Yeah, so if somebody only trying to sleep with you, 
They want to convince you that's not what they only want. That is what they only want. You know that's what they only want. They know that's what they only want. They just mad because you're direct about it. So if you maybe in the past you didn't say nothing about it and somebody's like, yeah, they all up on you trying to lust all over you and you're like, mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah, you know, but it's more than it's more than that. It's more than sex. And you're like, okay, you know, maybe in the past you didn't say nothing. But now, if they trying to push up on you now, you're like, oh, you want to sex. That's why I'm not dealing with you. Somebody is like, how dare you call me out like that? Like, and then they're going to they gonna try to play like that's not what it is. And that is exactly what it is. So do not lie to yourself or hurt yourself or allow people to betray your trust. You have to trust yourself, Aquarius. If you know somebody only after you because they want to lay with you, sleep with you, believe it. That is exactly what they only want. The Knight of Wands with the King of Wands let me know right now they have a goal in mind. Okay? They are attracted to you. They really like you. And if you have slept with them before, they, they own your ass. Okay? And what happened is... You may have been like, mm -mm, it's just only sex and you cut them off. Now they're coming back talking about, it's not that. It's something more. It's something deeper. No, it's not. It is not nothing deeper. Somebody's just is upset about the fact that you are calling them out. Okay? If you cut somebody off or whatever the case is and, you t and, and in the past you didn't say why and now they ask, well, what happened? You could be like, this is what happened. I mean, it couldn't be because it ain't even like that. They going you gonna let them back in your life and later on down the road they're gonna do it again. And then they're gonna try to guilt trip you or gaslight you into thinking, it ain't even like that. No, it is like that. They just can't handle you saying it directly in their face. So people may hold grudges or get mad at you because you calling them out for being exactly what they are. A user. Yeah, the four of wands. So it's bringing a lot of harmony in your place and you're trying to keep your foundation. Like I said, you're trying to keep your foundation stable. And that's what I'm getting. It's like with the go along, because I keep getting that go along to get along. I feel like with the four of wands, you're like, look, as long as there's harmony in my household, harmony in my heart, I don't care who, who mess with me or who don't. Because as long as it's keeping me sane and I'm in peace and I'm happy, I don't care who I rub the wrong way just by standing in my truth. It is what it is, y'all. Like I said, it's not in reverse. It's not you cussing people out or being mean towards people because you could be, but you're not. You're just being very direct and people who lack that communication skill, they're used to passive aggressiveness. People who lack that, because a person will let you have an attitude. They don't care. They still have a hand out. You could be like, again? You need $20 again? They don't care because you still going to give them the $20. If you dealing with somebody and you know all they want is sex, you can catch attitude like, Ugh. but you still laid down and gave it some. <laughs> you still gave them some. So, of course, they're like, you can have attitude all you want to as long as I get what I want. But when you direct... Like, no, I'm not giving uh, uh, what you need some money for to go get da, 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 to go get another bottle or something. Like, I feel like there's an energy where it's like, what, uh, no, I need to, I need to see the receipt. I need to see where you're going to put this money. We, we can go up to the bank right now. I can pay for it right now. People are like, let me borrow $20 so I can put it on my phone bill. Uh, what's your phone bill number? Because let me put it on your phone bill. Let me make sure the money I'm giving you out of my bank account is going where you said it was supposed to be. That's why they're mad. If you got a partner here and they're like, oh, well, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to kick it with you, you know, see, okay, well, let's go meet up at the coffee shop, get a couple of drinks. What you trying to do? You said it's not just about sex. Let's meet outside of the bedroom. We ain't got to go to my house. Then that's what people are like, oh, well, uh, yeah, that's exact. That's what I'm saying. Hold them accountable, Aquarius. Do exactly what you're doing. Yeah, four of wands. Because as long as your foundation is solidified and your home is a happy home, it don't matter how everybody else feel about what you're doing because you're protecting your happy space. You're protecting your sacred space. You have that right. It's not about trying to get along and get, uh, go along and get along. You got to be able to get along with yourself, Okay. Because if you're in a place where you don't even like yourself to a point where you're like, I don't know why I keep dealing with this or why I keep putting up with that, that's when you got to be like, no. I have to fall back in love with myself to know I deserve better. You, know, you give a lot of chances and people have taken advantage of that. They don't care if you get an attitude. They don't care if you get mad. But you being direct is working for you. So keep being like that. I don't see you being mean. I just feel like you're being direct. 
yeah tower <laughs> like i said so all of these faulty foundations these faulty friendships that was built on falseness like i said with y'all trying to get along to go along all of that if, if it start falling apart these relationships these friendships these jobs friendships co-workers whatever if you start realizing it's falling apart it's flaking it, it, it ain't working out that's why because it was built on a faulty foundation it wasn't built on the truth okay um, and now that the truth has been spoken, you are standing your truth. A lot of things are going to fall away because it was false in the first place. It's supposed to fall away. Yeah, four cups here in reverse. So yeah, like I said, you could be dealing with people who are immature. They're not going to take it well. They're very immature. They're very emotionally unstable. They may be upset. They may react. But it is what it is. It's not your problem. I feel like with the seven of wands, they're just they're just afraid to face you or tell you the truth. So if people start throwing tantrums, catching attitudes with you because they just really cannot communicate. I feel like that. There's a lot of people who feel like you know they can't stand up to you. How are you gonna stand up to somebody who is defending or protecting themselves or setting boundaries? You can't be mad at somebody for that. I feel like people are upset because look at that. They cannot stand your truth. They're cowarding because your truth is that true. Never feel um. Never let nobody try to convince you that you're 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 not um, on the money about them or you don't know what you're talking about. Predator, do not trust them. Yeah, trust yourself. Don't trust what people are trying to tell you. Trust their behavior. Trust their actions. Okay, because their actions are definitely showing you a different story. I'm asking as well. Some I keep getting this ducking energy. You know, like they they um are this person, so they leave time. Like they leave time in between. And then they hit you up again. They leave time in between. Then they hit you up again. Because somebody really thinks that that's going to like get you out their energy. Or get you to stop being able to read them or observe them. And I'm getting... They're still saying... Some all skin as well. Somebody feels like you're going to think they've changed. Because time has it, time has passed. So they're going to come back and be like, yeah, I've changed. I'm not that person that I was. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me again. You could trust me. I'm not that person. Just for you to trust them. And they're going to be exactly who they was before. They just... They think that if they leave a little bit of time in between you guys, that's going to like change the situation or how you